Hollywood, it's the Newlywed Game! And here are today's Newlyweds. This couple did the I Do's three months ago, Sandra and Jesse Mendoza. Our next couple tied it out ten months ago, Rachel and Rich Shooter. This couple celebrated their marriage two months ago, Julie and Patrick Gallagher. And our final couple exchanged friends six months ago, Haley and Keith Coffey. And now, uh, here's the star of the newlywed game, Bob Eubanks. Oh, thank you. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the newlywed game. Glad you could join us today. Hey, you guys. Are you ready to play our game? Yeah. Let's get those ladies off to the soundproof area and we'll ask the husbands some questions. Ladies, if you would, please. Hey, gentlemen, don't forget in round one, we'll be asking you some five-point questions. You'll be answering these questions as you predict your wife will answer the same question when she returns. Now, remember, if her answer matches your prediction, you get five points. The one couple with the most points at the end of the show wins a great second honeymoon. So we're glad to have you guys here. If you're ready, here's your first question for five points. Gentlemen, if all of our husbands today were to do a full Monty strip for the wives... Whom besides you will your wife say she would tip the best? Now, take a look at the other guys on the show, if you would, please. Just take a look there. Now, if everybody's going to do a full money strip, who besides you, Keith, do you think your wife would tip the best? Number uh, well, one, two, or three? Well, Bob, I would have to say probably number three. Number three? Yes, number three. All right, Rich, take a look. Would it be number one, number two, or number four? You think your wife's going to tip the best? Um, I said they number four. Number four. Whoa. You guys going to pick out furniture? What is this? Thing? Jesse. Well, if I had to pick one, Bob, I'd say number four. He's not a bad looking guy. He's number four. Whoa. What do you think, Patrick? Two, three, or four? Uh, I believe it'd be number three. Number three. Yes, sir. He's uh, basically got the same kind of hair I do. So he likes that. <laughs> Haircut. Now you have the poodle cut. He does. <laughs> All right, next question, guys. Tell me, gentlemen, who will your wife say causes more road rage, you or her? Rich, who causes more road rage, you or her? Me. Is you do? Yeah. Jesse? Bob, she would. I have no idea how she got a driver's license. She's a she terrible driver. driver. <laughs> terrible. No kidding. It's scary riding with her. Terrible. All right. Who causes more road rage, Patrick, you or her? Uh, it'd be me. You um, do? Yeah, I got a big pickup and... I have to cut corners all the time, people honking at me. And you got a big what? Pickup. <laughs> pick pick cool. <laughs> okay, Keith. That would be me. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right, let me ask you another question, gentlemen. If Mattel modeled a doll after your wife, what phrase will she admit is most likely to come out of her mouth when you pull the string on her back? Jess? Oh boy. Turn off that bedroom light. She gets mad because I always turn that light, I always leave the light on. Wait, you're afraid of the dark? I, I don't know. Just you can't get up and go wee wee without the light on, is that it? <laughs> Patrick, uh, put the dishes in the dishwasher. Put the dishes in the dishwasher? Yeah. She's you always it. chewing me out because I just leave them on the counter. And I think that's good enough. But well, I think so not. too, yeah. absolutely. Keith? She would say, let's do this. <laughs> is this what I think it is? I'm not sure what you're thinking. Well, I don't know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, Rich. Um, I'd have to say, uh, put the clothes in the laundry. Pull the string, it's going to say, put the clothes in the laundry. Yeah. All right, gentlemen, thank you very much. We'll be right back to reunite our newlyweds. We'll see how our husbands after getting up their wives, we'll say, right after these messages. Join me, Bob Eubanks, for my picks from Card Sharks, Match Game Hollywood Squares, Family Feud, and The Newlywed Game. It's the best of Bob during Bobtober on Buzzer. It starts Monday at 8. on cards. You now have them in front of you. Each time that your prediction matches your wife's answer, you get five points. Hey, the one couple with the most points at the end of the show wins an incredible second honeymoon, so it's going to be fun. Ladies, if you're ready, here's your first question now for five points. Tell me, I want you to take a look, if you would please, ladies, at all of the other husbands on the show today. Take a look at all of those little hairy lady guys, would you? Now, if all of our husbands today did a full Monty strip show for you, 
Whom besides your husband would you tip the best? Now, Julie, take a look at those guys. I'd say number two. You would tip number two? Ooh, what is it about number two you like? Well, the other two are just a little bit more flamboyant, and I think they would be a little bit more crude. <laughs> Oh, we don't, God knows we don't want any crudeness on this show. He predicted you would want to tip number three. He thought you'd love number three. Well, oh, yeah, because we've got like the same hair. What was I looking at? Oh, that no. takes a lot, yeah. Okay, yeah. Uh, Sandra, take a look at the other husband now. Would it be number one, number three, or number four that you would really tip the best to do this strip show for you? Well, Bob, I'll have to say number three. What is why three? <laughs> well, he. I mean, even his wife is laughing. Well, you know, I have, I have, and I think you'll agree with me. He looks like Ben Stiller. He looks like Ben Stiller. All right. Okay. Your husband said uh, that the card for me, please. Husband number four. You would want to see strip. Yeah. What he said. Rachel, what do you think? Number one, number two, or number four here? I would say number four. Definitely. Why? I like his head. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, every time you can see his head without him doing a strip for kind of <laughs> Your husband thought you would want to see number four. Yeah, yeah. Okay, Kaylee, what do you think about this? Three. Number three? Mm -hmm. He thought you would say number three. All right. Okay, here's my next question. Ladies, tell me. Who causes more road rage, you or your husband? Sandra, who causes more road rage? Um, I would unfortunately have to say myself. Why? Uh, I don't know. I just, he says I don't drive very well. How's she get a driver's license? I have no idea. <laughs> well, it took me three times after the three written tries. Three times to pass the driver's test? I don't know why I'm this. <laughs> yeah. Jeez. <laughs> All right, he predicted that uh, you caused the road rage. You got it. All right. <laughs> Rachel, who causes road rage? That would be him. He causes road rage? Yes. Is he a he, bad driver? Um, well, he's not bad, but he's out there and he's just, I mean, if anybody gets in his way or, I mean, he's just on the road everywhere. All right. He predicted that uh, the road rage is caused by him. Yes, you got it. All right. <laughs> Kenny, what do you think now? Well, who causes road rage? He one time got pulled over following me. He was tailgating me too. Too closely. No, this is in a car, car, I mean. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, he was following me. So definitely him. He got pulled over. Oh. Okay. Yeah, him. Okay, him. Yeah, I him. follow her a lot. Road rage. All right. He predicted you would say the road rage is caused by him. Yeah, he got it. <laughs> what do you think here, Julie? Well, uh, definitely myself because he is, he's very slow. I'm always in a hurry. I'm always running. I'm he's driving slow? really fast. Is he slow at everything he does? Not everything. No, not everything. All right. He predicted you would say that uh, he causes the road rage. Sorry about that. You want it? Next question, ladies. If Mattel modeled a doll after you, what phrase would come out of your mouth when your husband pulled the string on your back? What phrase do you think, Rachel, would come out of your mouth? Oh, God. Is that your answer? I <laughs> know. I wish. You wish, huh? Yeah. Um, cool doll. <laughs> Leave me alone. <laughs> Oops, I can see why you wanted that to be your answer. Okay. Root says to pull the string, you're going to say, put the clothes in the laundry. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's Kaylee, true. Mattel has modeled this doll after you. going to pull the string in your back, and what are you going to say? Ooh, baby. Huh? Yeah. Ooh, baby. Ooh, baby. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what string are you pulling? That's all I'm pulling. What's the matter with her saying, ooh, baby? It's not the right answer. Oh, what is the right answer? Pull the string, it's going to go, let's do this. Let's do this. Yes. You always say that, let's do this. Julie? Well, I have to say, put the dishes in the dishwasher. Put the dishes in the dishwasher. Boy, you guys have an exciting life. I'm you have a pickup, <laughs> put the dishes in the dishwasher. He predicted you would say, put the dishes in the dishwasher. <laughs> Sandra? I would have to say, um, turn the bedroom light off. I like to conserve the, the electricity bell, and he always, without fail, leaves the bedroom light well, why on. Why does he leave it on? I don't know. He just doesn't remember. Does he leave it on all night, you mean? No, like if we're in the living room or downstairs, it, without fail, it's on. Like yesterday, I came home, and he was not in the room. It was on. She's just picky, boss. She's very she's mean. Picky. She's mean. She just I'm mean. not mean. Yeah. He said, you would say, turn off that bedroom light. Okay, we'll be back in a while. We'll see how well they could have her husband will say right after these messages. Do 
Fridays today having a good time with these four wonderful couples. And ladies, now your husbands are all secluded off stage where they belong, by the way. And it's your turn to predict what they will say. Remember, these questions will now be worth 10 points. And here's our first one. Hey, ladies, if your husband was grading you on your most recent bedroom performance, will he say you deserve an A for acting, a C for cold shoulder, or an F for freaky? <laughs> Rachel, what grade would you get there, kid? Lately, I... It would have to be a C. <laughs> C for cold sho shoulder? Sandra, <laughs> what grade did you get? A for acting, C for cold shoulder, or F for freaky? Um, I would have to say C for cold as well. No kidding. Unfortunately. Oh, yes. Do we have problems at our house? No problems, just, you know. You're just cold. Yeah. So far we found out you're a lousy driver and you're cold. <laughs> <laughs> I have better points to me though. Well, I'm sure you do, yes. <laughs> Julie? I'd have to say F for freaky. Way to go, Julie! <laughs> makes me very happy. Makes Patrick happier, but it makes me yeah. happy anyway. Katie, what do you think? Definitely freaky. It's been in weird spots lately. Yeah. All right. It's been what? In weird, in weird places. Like what? Concerts, rivers. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. <laughs> you, you got romantic at a concert? Outside of the concert. What, what was the act? Very good. <laughs> no, no, no. I meant the concert act. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Singing group. It was a singing group. Oh, thank you very much. I appreciate that. <laughs> what was the act? You think I would ask you that? <laughs> yeah, I would. <laughs> Next question, ladies. <laughs> what part of your husband's body will he admit has shrunken the most since he met you? Sandra, what part of his body has shrunken the most since he met you? Um, his hands. His hands have shrunken. Too many dishes. <laughs> he does complain he does an awful lot of dishes so all that time when his hands are in the water they kind of prune up I oh he's got pruny old hands I can, right. yeah Do it? his muscles definitely so his, his whole his whole body muscles have shrunken since he met you yeah wow he better work out he won't be freaky yeah. anymore you know? okay feet his feet are shrunk no yeah Rachel <laughs> Um, I, his brain. <laughs> his brain is shrunk. Okay. Here's our 25 point bonus question, ladies. Exactly how many guests would your husband say were invited to your wedding? How many were invited to your wedding? Kaylee? Four. <laughs> Four. Four. Girl Scouts Honor. Girl Scouts Honor. Girl Scouts Honor, there was four. 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 Yes. Yeah, okay. Four. Rachel? Um, I, uh, 100. 100. Sandra? 175. 175. Julie? 100. 100. Ladies, thank you very much. We'll be back with the husbands and compare answers. <laughs> Two, three, and four of ten points. Couple number one is five points, but hey, this is your chance to catch up right now. You go, gentlemen, we're going to see how well your wives have predicted what you will say. And remember, these questions are now worth ten points. So here's our first one. Hey, tell me, gentlemen, if you were to grade your wife on her most recent bedroom performance, would she deserve a C for cold shoulder, an F for freaky, or an A for acting? Jesse, you got a grader. What would it be? F for freaky mom. Oh, and good for you, man. You get a little bit wild there. Hey, she's, she's a hot mom, isn't she? She sure is. She's mom. a hot oh, one, yeah. huh? Yeah. Yeah. She, she sure said is. for sure, Jess. Congratulations. She said C for cold shoulder. <laughs> what are you talking about? The stairs? The stairs? Well, that was just went with stairs. <laughs> the stairs? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Jesse, you could have stepchildren if you do that. <laughs> Rich, what would it be? C for cold shoulder, F for freaky, A for acting. I'd have to say uh, C for cold shoulder. Oh, I'm sorry. Because. <laughs> <laughs> 
I'm really sorry, man. I've been working a lot and uh, just haven't had no time for it. But but she got to see and you don't have time for it. Yeah. That doesn't sound right to me. Yeah. Okay, she said that uh, you would give her the grade of C for cold shoulder. You got it. All right. Okay, Mr. Macho. <laughs> yeah, what's it going to be here? It's going to be F for freaking wings. It's wild. She's had a whole lot of time on her hands lately, yeah. and boy, I've been enjoying it. Is that right? Yes, uh, I want to know about the concert. <laughs> she told you about the concert? Yeah. <laughs> she just told you she had a lot of time on yeah, her hands. Yeah, uh, yeah. It was great. Okay. Patrick, what do you think about this? What grade are you going to give her? It'd be a C. C for cold shoulder? Yes, sir. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Julie, no matter how hard you try, she said F for freaky. It's pretty good. How do you think it's Yeah, it's cool. pretty good, but like. Well, the last time it was just uh, in and out, you know, in the mood, out of the mood. <laughs> Another question here. Gentlemen, what part of your body would you say has shrunken the most since you've known your wife? Rich? Um, uh, my arm? oh. <laughs> arms? Arms, okay. She said that your uh, your brain has shrunken. At least it wasn't the other thing. Yeah. <laughs> Something to be said for yeah. yeah. Keith, what part of your body was you say has shrunk in the most since you met her? Well, when I met her, we I was working out and going to the gym, and I cut that out, so I'd have to say my chest. Your chest, all right. Yeah. You know what she's saying? This is, no, really, no. this is really weird, man. She said, your feet have shrunk. My feet? Your feet. <laughs> I don't boil them in water or nothing. Why would but you got a small feet? shoe size, so your foot. Yeah. I, everything else is the same. I stopped working out. It's my chest. You still look good. Oh. Good answer. It's got little bitty feet. <laughs> Patrick. Uh, I, like she said, it'd be my brain. Your brain is shrunk. Yeah. Huh? Yeah, well, yeah. I predicted you would say, no, your muscles have shrunken since you. We just talked about this. Well, you're always, well, no, yeah, she's yeah. always calling me dumb. I don't call him dumb. Well, he called you cold. Well, he's wrong. <laughs> he's dumb as hell. He's cold now. Yeah, I see. Jesse. Uh, probably my stomach, Bob, because she hasn't seen me in a while anymore. Oh. I see really good home cooked meals at home. I don't think so. Oh, you know, she doesn't feed you? No, I go hungry. Uh, let me see if I get this right. The girl can't drive. The girl's got a cold shoulder. And I, she can't cook. No, I make very. And she's mean. Dinner. Is that what you said? Yeah, I make very big dinners for him. He just chooses not to eat at me. All right. No, it, your hands have shrunk. Because you oh. wash so many dishes. Oh, that's true too. That's another. Yeah, I wash a lot of dishes. A lot of dishes. You got a lot of complaints, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> hey, before we get to our twenty-five point bonus question, let's see where our winning couple will be going on their second honeymoon. Craig, where are they going? You're going to the Bahamas. <laughs> For 25 points, exactly how many guests were invited to your wedding? How many guests were invited to your wedding? Couple number one, Patrick and Julie with five. 25 will give you 30. Hey, Patrick, if you get it right, son of a gun, you're going to be in first place. If you miss it, it's a long ride back to Delano. It'd be 100. 100. She yeah. said it would be 100. Yeah. Well, number two, Jesse and Sandra with 10. 25 will give you 35. Take over the lead with the correct answer, Jess. 160, Bob. 160. She said you invited 175. Couple wow. number three. Rich and Rachel with 20. 25 gives you 45. Rich, what do you say? 150. 150. She said you invited 100. <laughs> All right, couple number four. Keith and Kaylee. You have 20. 25 gives you 45. If you get it right, you are going on a fabulous second honeymoon. If you miss it, you are going home in a cab. <laughs> What's your answer? I know them all. Four. Four. Yes. Okay. 